All right, you guys, let's get ready to math it up. And we're going to start with a song. Let's dance it up for a minute. We're a family. We're doing math together. Yeah, you're like, what? You're my family? Well, yeah, we're a math family. And we're going to look at some families today in math. So check it out. We're talking fact families. And the fact families that deal with multiplication and division. So here we have this cute little family. And what numbers are in this family? Well, we have a 4, a 6, and a 24. And the family's equations are made from this array. And you might remember some of this stuff. You may already may have worked with some families. So let's practice it. So now if you happen to be practicing this using a Google slide, there is a scribble feature here. If I go to this tool, I can select a line and it enables me to draw on the screen. And the one that works best is Scribble. Isn't that cool? Okay, so if I wanna go ahead and figure out the family of this array here, hip hip array, let's find the family. I first need the dimensions. So here I have the number dimension here is four, so I could scribble that on my screen. And then I just click scribble again to write the other number dimension. And the other number dimension is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Scribble that on there, eight. And then take that feature again and I can write out all my family equations that would be multiplication and division equations. Okay. Now, if you're like, I already got this, I can figure this out. Then you could open up this Google slide deck or the worksheet and start working on it yourself. Or maybe you want to work right along with me. Or uh, maybe you want to do yours and then watch the video after and see how you did after each one. Okay, my recommendation would be maybe if you're going to try it on your own to try problem number one on your own and then check in on the video with me and see how it went before attempting number two, just in case you have a couple little errors that you need to learn from, okay? And it's okay to make mistakes because we can learn from them and get even better. So I'm gonna start out with the multiplication equations. So I could do four groups of eight, which is gonna equal something. That's a lot of squares. So four groups of eight. So there's one group of eight, two groups of eight, three groups of eight, four groups of eight. And what is that gonna be? Well, for me to figure that out, I easier than just counting them all up, I'm gonna think of it as a double-double. So eight and eight is 16. And then I have another eight and eight is 16. So 16 and 16 together. So I need to add 16 plus 16. And that is not gonna be 20 something. That is gonna be 32. So there's my first equation in that family. And now I need another equation. So now I just flip it around and I could say, well, that's also the same thing as eight groups of four. Because in that picture, I can look at it this way, vertically, groups of four. And if I have eight groups of four, I'm gonna have the same thing, 32. All right, so I'm gonna make this smaller here. And then I'm gonna get another text box. And I'm gonna write in the division sentence. So uh, I don't start with four or eight. I start with my 32 squares. So if I have 32 things and I divide it up, so now I'm going to insert a symbol. Um, so I have to find a certain symbol. And where is my symbol? Hmm. Um, I'm 
trying to find it right now. And that division symbol will be under special characters. Oh my gosh. So now under special characters, I could type in my keyword here, division. And I should see the division sign pop up as I start typing it in. There it is, division sign. So that's, look at it, it inserted the division sign. So now I'm gonna say 32 divided by, let's say four. If I have 32 squares and I divide that into four groups, one, how much will each group be worth? Eight, that's my other number dimension. And then I'm gonna say, well, I could also have 32 squares and divide it. So insert my symbol again, my special character. It should be in there still, but I might have to search for it again, division symbol. Division by eight. So now if I wanna divide it into groups of eight, how many groups of eight am I gonna have? I'm gonna have four. Or maybe I wanted to divide it into eight groups. Each group will be four, big. So there it is, we are a family. And there we have our family of 32, eight, and four. So now you have some other ones to go through and try out. And then once you're done practicing those ones, you have some practice you could do on Khan Academy. So it'll give you seven problems to try to complete these families of equations. And then for more math awesomeness, you can click on this math room and find some division games to try out, or maybe you wanna practice more on Khan Academy or do a quick check, or you wanna go dream boxing or prodigy, or you wanna extension, or you wanna do some multiplication practice. Up to you guys, okay? All right, I'm gonna keep going with these answers with the scribble feature, and you can check your work, okay? So this one here, I have a three for my number dimension, and then it's a six. So my fact families, I'm going to type it in because it's a little faster, and I'm going to go 3 times 6 equals, well, 2 groups of 6 is 12, so 3 groups, I add one more group of 6, that's 18. And then I can flip it around and say 6 groups of 3, same thing, 18. And then I'm just going to keep going with it, 18, and I need my division symbol, or I could just write divided by 3 gives me... Uh, six. And then I go here, 18 divided by six would equal three. Cha-ching, all by using a hip hip array. All right, now we go over here. The numbers dimensions are one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A five by seven. And a factor dimension of five is always fun because we could count by fives, right? And I know that the seventh multiple of five is 35. So I can work that multiplication fast. Five groups of seven is 35. Or seven groups of five is 35. What would you rather count by, sevens or fives? Fives for me. Uh, then we got some division going on if we have 35 squares and I insert my division symbol. And instead of always going here and writing division, I could um, go like this. Whoops, I'm gonna hover over it with my mouse and go Control C to copy it so that when I have to do it again, I can just paste it on there. So 35 divided into groups of seven equals five. And then 35, now I'm gonna do Control V, get my division sign divided into groups five would equal what? Well, into groups of five, how many groups of five would I have? Seven of them, touching, we are a family. All right, then we got another, okay? And I am just going to use the scribble yet again. One, two, three, four, five, six for my number, my dimension, my factor. And then my other number, Dimension factor here is one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh, it's six by six. This means this is a square. This is a square number. Those things are cool. These are called square numbers in math. So I have a six times six, which is what? 
Well, six times six, that's one that a lot of people might not remember because sixes are tougher to count by. Well, I could look at doubles here. Double six is 12, another 12, and another 12. So 12 and 12 is 24, and another 12 is 36. And now if I rearrange it, it would still be six times six. So actually in this family, I go straight to division, control V my division sign and divide it by six. So 36 divided by six is gonna be six because six times six is 36. That's how division and multiplication work. Isn't that nice? Okay, let's go five, number five. The numbers dimensions are three by five. And now my family is gonna be three times five equals what? 15, oh yeah, and then five times three equals what? 15, and now let's start at 15 and let's divide by three. Well, I know that's going to be five because five times three is 15. And now 15 divided by five equals, well, three, because three times five is 15. They're a family. All right, we have two more to try out. And the dimensions here, one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, another five. Love it. By not five, but four. Okay, I need to get my other part to that four. And now I have my family. Five times four equals 20. And then I have four times five equals what? 20. And now I'm going to start at my 20 and divide by, let's say, five. And what is that going to be? Well, it's four because four times five is 20. And now I start with 20 again. How about we divide it by four? And what will it be there? Well, five, because five times four is 20. And our last one, we have one, two, three, four, five. Are you kidding me? Five again. And one, two, three, four, five again. Now look at this. We got another square here, a square array. And this is called a square number. Five times five equals 25. 25 is considered a square number because there is a number times itself that gives you that number. Um, and so that means we can go straight into division, divide that thing by five, and what do we get? Five, because five times five is 25. Awesome. So remember, check out Khan Academy for some more practice. And if you do do that, you can take a picture, screenshot it at the end there, and insert your picture here to show that you actually did it. And then if you go in the math room, feel free to provide a picture screenshot of whatever you practiced. All right? Good work, you guys. Remember, we are a math family doing multiplication division families. Bye.